was developed in 1970s when U.S. Army requested design proposal to meet a requirement for a mechanized infantry fighting vehicle to counter the threat of Soviet BMP-1 IFE developed at that time. A series of designs submitted and changings were followed which resulted into fighting vehicle system, comprising of two vehicles, the M2, which is the standard infantry fighting version, and the M3 cavalry fighting and reconnaissance version with the M6 linebacker being an air defense version developed later to meet operational requirements. The Bradley fighting vehicle is a lightly armored, fully tracked transport vehicle that possesses sufficient cross-country mobility to keep up with the N1 Abrams main battle tank. It has medium and long-range firepower capable of defeating any vehicle on the battlefield and is adequately armored to protect the crew from artillery and small arms threats. The Bradley Fighting Vehicle is manufactured by BAE Systems Land and Armaments. It is able to close with and destroy enemy forces in support of mounted and dismounted infantry and cavalry combat operations. It is named after General Oman and Bradley. The main armament is an ITK Ammunition Systems 25mm M242 Bushmaster Chain Gun, 240C 7.62mm Machine Gun is mounted coaxially to right of the Bushmaster with 2200 rounds, and the twin tube tow launchers mounted on the left of the turret. The chain gun has a single barrel with an integrated dual feed mechanism and remote feed selection. The gunner can select single or multiple shot mode. The standard rate of fire is 200 rounds a minute, but the gun is optionally converted to 500 rounds a minute. The main anti-tank weapon is Raytheon B, G, M71 tow anti-tank missile system. The target is tracked using an optical sight, which detects the infrared signal from the back of the missile in flight. A double wire command link between the missile and the gunner is dispensed from two spools at the back of the missile. The launcher sends flight correction data to the guidance system on the missile via the command link. The range of the tow missile is 4 kilometers. The M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle has a welded aluminum armor hull. Front arc has a spaced laminated aluminum and steel armor. In addition, the M3 A2 Bradleys have a pleat steel armor with provision for additional passive armor, or explosive reactive armor. The era consists of 96 tiles fixed to the sides, turret and front of the vehicle which enhance protection against a variety of anti-armor munitions including shoulder-launched rocket-propelled grenades. Front arc of the latest models provide protection against 30mm armor, piercing rounds. Bottom of the vehicle is reinforced with steel plates for improved protection against mines. The M2 Bradley is also fitted with an BC protection system. Further all versions are also equipped with two four-barreled smoke grenade launchers on the front of the turret, for creating defensive smoke screens, which can also be loaded with chaff and flares. The A3 fire control software combines laser range finder, environmental readings, ammunition type and turret control inputs that is used to elevate the gun automatically for range, and to generate a kinematic lead solution if a target is moving. This functionality allows the gunner or commander to center the reticule on a moving target, laze the target, and achieve a first round hit, without the need to fire sensing rounds and adjusting aim. The FCSW incorporates a thermal-aided target tracker function that can track two targets in the FLR field of view and switch between them, primarily intended for employing tow missiles against moving vehicles. The gunner is equipped with a Raytheon integrated sight unit, which includes a day thermal sight. An optical relay which provides the inch of the gunner's sight to the commander. The driver is equipped with three forward periscopes plus one periscope to the left. The central periscope can be replaced with the night viewer with a 25mm second generation image intensifier.
the Bradley is motorized with Cummins VTI 903T turbocharged diesel engine, developing 600 horsepower. Engine is located at the front. It is made it to an automatic transmission. The maximum road speed is 61 km per hour, and the cruising range is 400 km. With upgradation over years and addition of armor to counter threats, there is increase in weight as a result Bradley is no more amphibious. The suspension is torsion bars and cranks. There are six small rubber rimmed road wheels on each side. In future, the major upgrade for Bradley vehicles would be the addition of Iron Fist Active Protection System to enhance protection against anti-tank rockets and missiles. It is in service with the armies of the US and Saudi Arabia. Since 1981 around 5,000 vehicles of both types have been fielded. Just as with its predecessor, the M113 family, the Bradley will eventually be the platform for a wide range of support vehicles. Upgraded M2 Bradley Atvies are scheduled to remain in active service with the US military until 2026, when a next generation will be introduced, and beyond. What are your views about this topic? Please mention them in comments section. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, click on thumbs up, and in the end, don't forget to subscribe.